Ladies and gentlemen, we got to experience Lawson's first speech today. Wasn't that awesome? It's an icebreaker. And I gotta tell you, for first time, I've seen a lot of people do the first time. And you did a great job. Your stage presence was very good. I mean, you stepped around, you did, you know, like a little bit of a square dancing thing, which a lot of people don't do, especially on their first time. They usually just uh, you know, <laughs> hunker down on the podium and, until they're done, you know? So it was good. You stepped away. You used your hands. You used your hands. And some of us, and maybe myself, say, you know, of course, this is an impromptu speech. But on your next speech, you may want to look at that, look at yourself in the mirror when you're practicing. And when you use your speech, I mean, use your hands when you speak, you want to use them for emphasis. It seemed like, to, to me, a lot of the time, you were, you know, holding your hands, you were touching your hands, and they were up. But if you were going to say, like, you know, I did this, I got, I made myself a new position within this company, I, I, I paved the way, right? Um, using your hands to emphasize that will just drive those points harder home. Lawson was pretty darn loquacious about his professional life. <laughs> Problem is, we didn't get a lot about his personal life. And again, we know that this was impromptu. He just decided today that he was going to speak. But, and and we'll, we'll save those details for your next speech. That's fine. But, you know, usually the icebreaker, you know, you could have got a little more time out of it if we said, if we learned, you know, where were you born? Where did you go to school? Where did you grow up? You know, maybe some other things about you. Your, your hobby. What do you do when you're not working um, for fun? You know, how do you unwind? How do you relax? So just... No big deal. Again, a very good speech. Um, <laughs> did not need any notes, obviously, because you didn't have any. <laughs> you very, very well. You spoke off the top of your head, and and you you told us a lot about your former job and your you know, current job. And I think a lot of us have a better understanding of that. And maybe. Um, as another little critique, I, for one, I work in, like in an IT department, but I don't know what the word vertical means. Oh. So maybe, you know, again, impromptu speech, don't take this too harshly, but you know, when you go to present something, if you do decide to speak about your job in another speech, maybe take a lame, more layman's approach to your position. Someone that doesn't know anything about your job or what you do, you know, this is what a vertical means. This is what this, um, you know, software, piece of software that I use all the time, this is what it is. You know, just stuff like that, it gets you more time, more time to talk, and it gets your audience more uh, material to relate to what you're talking about. So anyways, again, congratulations on your first speech. You did a really good job, and I can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And our second speaker was Arnie Carlson, and he did the prepared speech on persuasive speaking, and our second evaluator is Shannon. Arnie is always very um, So today he was being a persuasive leader. I always